It is October, it is fall, that means one thing. It is sweater weather. And if you're like me, you love those cozy fall vibes, but you wanna stay looking stylish. So today I'm sharing some of my favorite sweaters across several different retailers. So whether you're in the market for a new cozy fall sweater or you're just looking for cozy fall outfit ideas, I've got you covered in today's video. So let's go ahead and jump into it. Okay, the first two sweaters are from Quince and I'm excited to partner with them again because they have upgraded their cashmere this year. And even though they upgraded the cashmere, they kept the same affordable prices. It's still 100% Mongolian cashmere. The upgrades include an enhanced yarn tension, which just gives it a more substantial cozier, thicker feel. It's also softer than it was last year. And they've also included an advanced pilling technology. So it really resists that pilling and makes it a little bit more durable. They've also added a bunch of new colors for the fall. So all very exciting. Also just quickly wanted to mention they do have free shipping and you can return items for up to 365 days. So great options from Quince. We're gonna go ahead and jump into the first sweater that I have from them. And there's so much inspiration in pictures. Some of them I'm sharing with you right now. When you find inspiration in pictures, you can really take elements of what you like combine it with what you own already and just make it your own. So that's kind of what I've done here with this first sweater. This is a crew neck, 100% cashmere sweater. It is in the color faded denim, one of their new colors, which I absolutely love. I'm wearing it in a size small. I do believe they are true to size. They have 13 different colors. And in the first look, I paired it with a dark wash jean. This one is from J. Crew. It's in the trouser fit. It's a little bit wider leg, but I love the contrast in colors from the darker denim to that lighter chambray color of the sweater. And I also added in some brown elements, which I think go so well with these colors and the belt and the shoes in the bag. And this was kind of my interpretation using what I had to create an outfit based off some of that inspiration from the pictures that I shared with you. In the next look, I paired it with the black Ponty pants. These are also from Quince and I've shared these with you guys before. And that mixture of black and that baby blue, chambray blue, I think is so rich. I just love it. And you could see from one of those inspiration pictures that that kind of got me going, but it also, you know, my outfit does not look exactly like what that picture is. It just was the catalyst to an idea using what I already have. So I paired this with slingback flats and a bag that I have from Amazon. And these pants, you guys, by the way, just a side note, super comfortable from Quince, but I think these are a perfect pairing and a very comfortable everyday outfit. Okay, the next sweater from Quince is their Mongolian cashmere fisherman hoodie. And who does not love a hoodie? And at that, a cashmere one, you can't go wrong there. So I got this one in this really beautiful brown color. This is a great, rich, neutral brown. And I'm wearing a size small. I do think this one also runs true to size. This is meant to be a little oversized, a little bit more of a baggier, looser, more casual fit. And in some of the inspiration pictures that I was looking at inspired me to go ahead and pair these with a dark wash pair of denim. These denim are from Levi's. They are the wedgie fit. And then I kept with the brown boots and I'm showing it two different ways where I kind of left the sweater out, which shows you that really casual oversized fit. Or I do also like the contrast with a little bit of a white t-shirt hanging out below it. But again, meant to be very casual. In the next look, I paired it with these very casual, these are actually a yoga pant, but they wear and look like a dress pant. These are from Amazon. I've shared these before as well, but I love this because it looks a little bit dressier, but it is very, very comfortable. I did pair this with black boots. You, I like that you can really mix this, because it's a neutral, you can mix this brown with either more browns or actually black. So it goes well with both. And before we move on to the next sweater, I just wanted to mention that 
Quince introduced a true navy this year, which if you've seen their true their navy from last year, it's a little bit more of a kind of a brighter blue that I, I didn't quite care for. So this year they have that true navy. I just placed an order for the zip up hoodie that I have already in black and I've shared with you guys before. So I can't wait to get that and I'll share that in another video. But if you haven't checked out Quince, definitely check them out. They offer such high quality products, high quality fabrics at unbeatable prices. They really make it affordable and attainable to have higher quality pieces at a much more affordable price. The next sweater is from J. Crew. This is their Juliet cardigan in gray. This one I already have in the camel color and I noticed they have it in navy this year, which I've had my eye on. This one is in gray and I'm wearing an extra small in this. These do run big, but this sweater really lends itself so well to not only just being a sweater, but a third layer, a cover up, a jacket, lots of different ways you can wear it as I'm showing in some of these inspiration pictures. This comes in five different colors. I wanted to mention the material on this. It's 35% cotton, 35% polyester, and 30% merino wool. So if you're sensitive to any of those fabrics, know that ahead of time, but I will tell you, it is super soft. It is not itchy in the least, not to me at all. So the very first way I paired this was with a pair of trouser denim in a lighter wash. These are cut from the cloth and a white, a basic white t-shirt. I added a belt, the black boots and a black bag. This is really my uniform. If you would ever see me on the weekends, this is very reminiscent of something I pretty much always gravitate to. It's super easy. It looks put together in a very casual way. And I guess that's just the way I define my own style. But I do love the way this came together. And I like the contrast between the lighter wash and the gray and the white shirt. In the next look, I grabbed those same black ponty pants from Quince, added the sling back flat, and this is another very casual, cozy, but put together fall outfit that really could take you from the office to the weekend um, to anywhere. So love this jacket. Like I mentioned, I have another one from last year. I'm looking to probably get that navy. If you haven't noticed, navy is one of my favorite colors. So this is definitely a favorite, favorite sweater. And then one last way I wanted to share to wear this um, cardigan from J. Crew is with this two-piece set from Amazon. This is a set that I shared back in the summer. The top is actually sleeveless, but so incredibly comfortable. And also wanted to mention, very petite friendly. I have this in black and the extra small, and this is a wonderful travel outfit. I have worn this with the camel color that I already have as a travel outfit. You can see I've just paired it here with a low profile sneaker, added some jewelry, and just a great kind of go-to no-brainer outfit for travel. The next piece is from Banana Republic, and this is more of a jacket versus a sweater, but I had to include it, but it is just so right up my alley and something I know I will grab a lot of the time because it's very reminiscent to me of the linen jacket that I have from Quince as well that I've shared with you guys um, here in this navy color. This is what they're calling their short knit jacket from Banana Republic. This is meant to be an oversized boxy fit and it truly is an oversized boxy fit. So if you don't really like that fit, you might not love this one, but I love that because it lends itself to being able to layer underneath it and lots of different options. I do think it runs large. I'm wearing this in an extra small and you can see it does have an oversized fit. I want to quickly mention the fabric on this. It is 68% polyester and 32% recycled polyester. Not itchy at all. It's not as soft as some other sweaters I have, but it is not itchy, not to me anyway. In the first outfit, I paired this again with those lighter wash trouser jeans from Cut From The Cloth a basic white t-shirt and I added a little pop with the leopard print belt um, and some darker brown boots. And this color combination is my jam. I love navy and white and the browns together. This color combination just calls my name every time. So 
wanted to make sure I included this jacket in case it's something that you may like as well, but I think this is a great option. So in the next look, I did pair it with the J. Crew trouser jean, which is in that darker denim, and I think that looks fantastic as well. So just wanted to show two different options to, if you don't like the lighter wash jean, you can also do this with a darker wash. And then the last sweater is what they're calling a bomber cardigan sweater. This one is from The Drop. I'm wearing it in size small. I do think this runs true to size. This one only comes in two colors, which I was a little bummed about. It comes in the cream that I'm showing and this black that I'm actually wearing right now. The material on this is 79% polyester, 14% acrylic, 5% wool, and 2% spandex. So again, if you're sensitive to any of those fabrics, know that ahead of time. What I can say about this sweater, I was absolutely shocked. Got it off of Amazon from the drop. It is the thickest, most luxurious sweater I have purchased in a long time. Totally wasn't expecting the thickness and the quality and the feel of this. Super, super soft. I know some people can't wear anything with wool in it, so I wanted to make sure I mentioned that, but I ended up getting, I got it in the cream color first that I'm showing, but I loved it so much that I, I wanted to go back and get it in black. The only thing that bums me out is there are not more colors because I would probably purchase every single one of them. And what I love about it is that you can zip it up, you can wear it like a jacket, lots of different ways to style it and wear it. Kept it super simple in the try on with the dark wash jeans from Levi's. These are the Levi's wedgie. Just quickly want to mention, it took me a very long time to try these jeans. Heard rave reviews about them and I'm glad I did. This is probably the first pair of jeans I've purchased in a long time that don't have stretch in them. And I'm shocked at how much I like them. And I think they look so crisp and so nice and so flattering. One thing, if I could change about these jeans is that it is a button fly. And I don't love a button fly, but I do love these jeans. So I just wanted to side note on those if you're in the, in the market. Paired this with a basic white tee underneath, added some jewelry, some accessories, some flats, and a purse. And like I said, this is one of my uniforms that you would catch me in probably on you know any day that you saw me out. So if you are looking for some outfit ideas or if you're looking to figure out how to pair some of those fall shoes with your jeans now that we're in fall. You can check out this video or this video here. And I hope that this video gave you some inspiration to put some outfits together with items you already have in your own closet, or perhaps you might be wanting to add a sweater or two into your closet to pair with the items that you already have. Please reach out in the comments below. I love talking to you guys. Let me know what your favorite sweaters are so far this year what you're looking at and what you've got your eye on. Love hearing from you and hearing your feedback. If you've made it this far, I would love it if you would stay and subscribe. It is free, but it really does help my channel. And if you enjoyed this video and the content, please give it a thumbs up. Thank you so much for being here, for watching, and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye guys.